Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm giving you a glimpse of my complete makeup collection. Before I put these mirrors out of the way I just wanted to show you what my vanity normally looks like after I have cleaned it up after using it. The mirror that I'm pointing at right now I got on Amazon and it's actually a travel mirror but I find it a bit too big for traveling so I'm still on the hunt for the perfect travel size mirror. The thing that I like about this mirror though is that it does light up and the other side has amplified magnification. The large mirror in the center, you probably saw that if you would have watched my Ikea haul. That is from Ikea and that just stays uh, always on the vanity. But I'm going to move it for the purpose of today's video. So we're going to start with my lip gloss collection and I always leave that on top of my vanity because I love to wear lip gloss. And I'm just going to quickly take you through them. This is uh, the It Cosmetics Je Ne Sais Quoi lip treatment. I've only used it once. I like it. I'm not sure that I like the application method. It is a bit messy but I do like the product. This is another new It Cosmetic lip product. Um, it is in News Anchor Blue. I'm not sure that I like the blue color because it goes on clear but it has a bit of a blue tint to it. Um, on me it kind of looks like I've been deprived of oxygen, not the look I'm going for. So I just wear it around the house. It does feel nice on the lips. It has an oil in it. This is my D Dior Lip Maximizer. It uh, it really does, it doesn't sting the lips, but uh, you definitely can feel some uh, cooling sensation on them. It's just a very sheer pink. This is an oldie but a goodie. It's Bobbi Brown. It's no longer available. It was a limited edition. I don't reach for it that much because I find it a bit uh, on the tacky side. This is another one by Lancome. Uh, it's nearing the end of its life. I've had it for probably two or three years. This is uh, NARS Orgasm. I got that in the fall. It's a nice um, peachy color. It'd be nice for the summertime. Another of the It Cosmetics lip oils. And this is the Buxom White Russian. I'm soon going to have to order another one. It's almost empty. And then over here uh, we have another pink uh, color by IT. Another, I have two of the same lip gloss. This is in the shade 383. Not sure if it's still available. This is by Lancome. It is a nice gloss very sheer pink. Um, this is my Rimmel Oh My Gloss lipstick. It's okay. It's not one of my favorites. I find it doesn't wear very well on me and I find it to be very tacky on the lips so I would not repurchase this one. Uh, this is another Lancome lip gloss. As you can see, I have a thing for pink. And this was, I believe, a little sample of the Laura Mercier. I haven't tried this one yet, but I really like the color in the container. That'll be very nice for spring and summer. I think I'll put it over here so I remember to use it. And then over on the last side are the darker lip glosses that I would wear in the fall. Uh, that's a new rose colored one by IT. My NARS Bound. You've seen me wear this time and time again. I love that color. This is a Burberry one. Um, it's a nice, almost a peachy pink color. I should probably put that over in the summer section. And last but not least is a Marc Jacobs color for fall. And it's 306 Boom. 
and that's what that looks like a nice color for fall and I just wanted to show you this is something that stays on my uh, bed table and I put it on every night because I ran out of my Dior lip plumping balm that I would wear every night I can't find it Sephora's not carrying it anymore I don't know if it's been discontinued or not so if you know what's going on with the Dior uh, lip balm could you let me know I bought this one by Sugar. Everybody on YouTube raves about it. I think I'm the only person here that's not crazy about it. Once this is finished, I won't repurchase it. So I'm not going to go through all of my brushes unless you would like me to. If you'd like to see a brush collection video, just let me know in the comment section. The way I have it set up is I have all of my eye brushes in this container. I bought these containers at Ikea. They were under $5 each. In the large container, I have brushes that I've not even opened yet, and um, a lot of foundation brushes. These are foundation powder brushes, and then this little container I got at the dollar store, this is where I put my dirty brushes and beauty blenders. I just did a get ready with me video, so that's why I have some dirty brushes in here. And I'll just show you, this is the It Cosmetics, it's your Brush Love Instant Brush Cleaner. So this is how I like to keep the top of my vanity, all the clutter put away, and of course my main mirror would sit here. Now, unfortunately this drawer doesn't open like any farther than this, but I knew that when I bought it and I'm okay with it. I just, I had these little containers that I bought online. And in this section, I sort of have my drawer organized in order of how I would apply my makeup. So this is my uh, little razor. I haven't talked too much about it, but you will be hearing about this in future videos. Um, I have uh, primers. And I have way too many tweezers. My sharpener. And this is a concealer that I got at MAC. I have yet to found the perfect concealer for me. I also have the Bye Bye Under Eyes by It Cosmetics. I don't like it. Um, if I could find someone to give it to, I would give it away. It's just too thick for under my eyes. This is a little sample of the Guerlain Meteorates Primer. It's okay. I think I prefer the Hourglass. Some eyelid primers. I have the Urban Decay. I've had this for probably about two years. I just opened this today. It's a, a very nice to look sample size of the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. First time I've tried it. And my Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer. And I also have um, the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness. The, this works very well if you have some red spots or some blemishes that you want to cover. You can wear this either on its own or it works very well under their CC cream or your foundation. And then back here I just have a backup of a, a cushion compact for the It Cosmetics. And then in this section I have all of my foundations. I have some hair bands. This is uh, the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Lines Foundation. I love this foundation. Works very well to me. It's a sheer to medium coverage. Here is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. You've never heard me talk about this because I've only ever worn it once. I, it's a very full coverage on me. I uh, did buy a pump at the MAC store. It's here. I just haven't gotten around to using it. I would not wear this in the summer anyway, so I may pull this out in the fall and winter and wear it. Of course, my IT CC cream. I have the jumbo size of the Illumination one, which is the one that I like. I prefer this over the original. I also really like the Guerlain uh, Lingerie de Peau BB cream. I wear this in... This is in light. And this is in medium. Medium's okay for the IT for me in the summertime, but my usual go-to shade is light. And here is one of the IT Cushion Compacts. And uh, a Bobbi Brown Beauty Balm in the shade Light. Haven't worn this much, hope to use it up. And there's a sample I got at Sephora of the Guerlain Lingerie de Peau um, regular foundation. 
And then in this section I have all of my powders. This is my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm not sure if this is the large size or the small size, but this will do me for a very long time. The It Cosmetics Airbrush Illuminizer Poreless Powder. I like this a lot. And the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Pressed Powder. You could wear the powder on its own or you can just wear it over your makeup. And then in here I have my favorite uh, concealer and it's by NARS. It's the Radiant Creamy Concealer and I wear it in the shade Light 2. And this is the brand new It Cosmetics. It's their magic wand. It's a lightning pencil. Um, I got that a few weeks ago. They were on the shopping channel. And I tried it out this morning for the first. It's okay. Not in love with it. But I'll give it a few tries before I make my final decision. And then I'll just reach back in here. Here I have a sample of the Benefit Gimme Brow. I'm saving this for whenever I go traveling. It's, I believe, their clear brow gel. Uh, this is their Ready Set Brow. I believe that was a deluxe sample from Sephora as well. Uh, this is something I bought a while ago. It's their Benefit High Bro Brow Glow, and it's just a highlighting pencil. I don't know if you can see that there. I use that under my eyebrows to highlight. I love my Dior Bold Brow. I call it Brow Mascara. Um, it's perfect for me. I wear this most days on its own. It doesn't get crunchy like a lot of other brow gels do. And of course I have my Anastasia Brow Wiz. Both are in, oh no, one is soft brown, one is medium brown. I have one by NYX, not a fan of it, it's blonde. Um, the girl at the store said it would be my color, but as you can see it's not the right color. I should actually probably just toss it and give it to somebody else. And this is an oldie but a goodie by Estee Lauder. The writing has pretty much gone off of it, but whenever I had access to a Estee Lauder counter, uh, I would buy their products. That's when my hair was a bit darker. That's dark brown. That would be a little too dark for me right now. But I will keep it because when fall comes, I do go darker with my hair. So in this section, I have my blushes. This is the Ombre Radiance Je Ne Sais Quoi by It Cosmetics. And I just got this. This was also part of the showstopper package I got on the shopping channel. And it is their latest Bye Bye Pores blush in the color Sweet Cheeks. There, somebody said that it kind of looks like NARS Orgasm. I don't know. It's, on me, it's a very pinkish, um, peachy blush, which will be nice for summer. And then I have my Becca Camellia Luminous Blush. Love this blush. Very highly pigmented, a little goes a long way. I wear this typically in the fall and winter. And then I have this little one that was a, uh, I think a birthday gift from Sephora and Goulet by NARS. I've worn it once or twice. To me, again, that's a winter color. And then I have this little travel size of the Dandelion blush. And I also have it in the large size. I like it. It's a nice sweep of color. It's good for the spring and summer. And I also have this. It was a gift from Sephora and it is their, they call it their Dandelion Dew. I think it's sort of a liquid blush or highlighter. I'm not sure it's something that I would use. Like the color's kind of crazy. Probably not something that I'm going to wear. And this is the Dandelion Shy Beam. I think it's a liquid highlighter. As you can see. Now that's something I might wear because it blends in nicely with my skin tone. And then in this compartment we have my collection of mascaras. Um, my all-time favorite is the Tight Line by It Cosmetics. Uh, some of these I got as deluxe samples from Sephora and some came in uh, their mascara face. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex. It's okay the first few times that you wear it. 
But I just find the brush is way too big for my small eyes. Uh, my It's Superhero, absolutely love that one. This is Deuce, D-O-U-C-C-E. Never heard of that brand. It must have been in the Sephora mascara pack. Another It's Superhero. Uh, this is a Clinique Lash Doubling Mascara. I don't want to open them up because they haven't been opened yet. And This is a Lancome Excessive Black. Another Lancome. Marc Jacobs. Uh, the Stila Extreme Lash, uh, one by Tarte, and this is by Benefit. So i am got lots of mascara, won't have to buy any of that for a long time. But like I said, I always come back to the It Tight line. And then back here we have my eyelash curler that I always forget to use. And these are just uh, refills that go with some of my Estee Lauder pencils. So now we're getting into lip pencils. And I don't have a very extensive collection. There's the Buxom White Russian that I did a review on that I will link. Uh, this is a Rimmel that I absolutely hate because it is so hard and does not apply easily. And this was a Sephora sample of a Tarte one that it's a nice fuchsia color. But the piece de resistance is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I wear this every day. Love it. It's a perfect nude for my lips. Now the... I just have a Real Tech Sneak sponge and a beauty blender tucked back in here. I have a Baby Beauty Blender and my Bite Agave Lip Mask. And again, I feel like I'm the only person on YouTube that does not like this product. And I have a Lip Glow by Dior. Absolutely love this lip balm. Hope to buy some more in the Sephora sale. It's just a very nice uh, nude pink. It's very sheer. As you can see, the hint of pink is there. It was a lot bigger, but unfortunately, don't make the same mistake I did. I put it in my beach bag when I went on a cruise, and of course it was very hot in the bag, and it melted, and I lost probably about that much off of it, which is sad because it is pretty, but it's also a pricey product. And then I'll just show you the lipsticks that I have. Um in this section that won't fit in my little lipstick holder. This is a lip treatment by IT, the Je Ne Sais Quoi. It's nice to wear around the house. Uh, this is an old one by Estee Lauder. Love it. Uh, the color is 18. It's called Candy. Again, I would wear that in the fall. This is the color that I've been wearing a lot recently in my videos that everybody makes comments about. They say that it's such a pretty color and it, all that it is is the It Cosmetics Je Ne Sais Quoi in the blurred lines. It's really a nice formula for the for the lip color. It does look very nice on me and it wears quite well. And this is I guess a high-end lipstick that I got from Burberry. It's poppy red. I wear it in the fall and at Christmas time, and it really, really is a very nice red for me. You can see there. I find when I wear reds, they turn pink or mauve on me. I don't know. It's just something I've been noticing lately. I might as well stick with my lipsticks. Um, and this one, we got... This one was a sample and it's uh, Marc Jacobs again. It's a red. I haven't tried it yet. Probably saving it for Christmas or if I go on a trip. My newest edition, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Absolutely love this. It's a beautiful nude on me. It looks a little brown there, but on my lips, it's really a, a nice nude pink. Um, this is Honeycomb by Bite Beauty. A fall color. I'm not going to swatch all of these. Again, if you want individual 
uh, see swatches someday I can make a video. This is Fig. Um, might as well stick with the bite. This is Pepper. This is a nice one on me. And this is Noir. And that's actually... It almost looks chocolate on me. I haven't worn that one yet. This was a uh, deluxe sample from Sephora, Givenchy. Isn't that a gorgeous red? And last but not least, this is by Lancome. Uh, it's right there. It's a nice fall color. So that's my lipstick collection. And then I have these two little babies that I got. Uh, from Sephora sample size. One is my White Russian and I believe that one might be Dolly, but I'm not 100% sure. It's not written on there. And then back here are all of my eye pencils. Uh, Marc Jacobs in black. This is an old walnut brown eyeliner from Estee Lauder. This is a new one. It's by Sephora. It's to do the bottom waterline. It's just very... color's not on here. It's just their long-lasting cold pencil. As you can see, it's very natural color. Uh, the It's No Tug waterline. I have it in navy. Slate. And that's it. And I have a... This is a lip liner. What is it doing over here? So that's an It Cosmetics lip liner. Uh, this is a Lancome. They have nice eye pencils too. This one is... It's called Minui. It's like a navy. Uh, Bobbi Brown Black Chocolate. Uh, Estee Lauder in Graphite. And oh, this is a favorite. This is by Lancome. It's called brulee and it's a nice brown. So those are colors that I would wear in the fall. So now we're into my extensive collection of bronzers. I have this one by It Cosmetics. Uh, it was an ombre bronzer but as you can see the ombre is almost all gone and now it's just bronze. It's nice. It's very subtle. I like it. And then of course I have the obligatory bronzer, the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. I think I've used it once or twice. I hate the smell. It just, the smell drives me nuts. I can't wear it. So if I knew somebody that could make use of that, I would give it to them. I showed you my lipsticks. Here is my derma stamp. I've started uh, derma rolling. The container that it came in. Here is my Derma Roller. I'm not going to speak too much about that today because I will be doing a video upcoming. This is a sample of something that Sephora gave to me. Oh, I think it's a Drunk Elephant, um, one of their creams. I have two little L'Occitane hand uh, lotions and two backups of my favorite mascara by It Cosmetics. And here I also have some Clinique Take the Day Off. I used to use them to remove makeup on my face but now they're sort of dried up. So what I do is I just wet them a bit and I use them to uh, remove any like swatches that I do and stuff like that. My Real Techniques brush cleaning device. This thing works wonderfully well. A little sample of the Beauty Blender that I'm saving for when I Travel uh, the Beauty Blender Cleanser. I have the It Confidence in Your Glow. It's their all-in-one blush, highlighter, and bronzer. And I do have the brush. I have the brush that came with it. This is nice in the summertime. Or say if you're traveling south and you don't want to wear a lot of makeup, you just... Take the brush that came with it, sweep it across, and you have done three steps in one. And this is in the color uh, natural. Comes in three different shades. I just went with the natural. This is new to me. It's been around for a while. I actually just tried it this morning for the first. 
and it is the Cosmetics Je Ne Sais Quoi 4-in-1 Face Palette. You have your highlighter, your pressed powder, your bronzer, and your blush. Very, very nice to work with. Uh, it's very creamy. It's nice for mature skin, any skin really. It just gives you a hint of je ne sais quoi. Like, you have, I don't know what it is, but you, there's something different about you. It doesn't look like you're heavily made up. Perfect for summer, perfect for traveling. I also have the It um, Contour Palette. It's great when you're first starting out learning how to contour. Of course, uh, these would be the shades that I would work with. These are quite dark. I'm not into body contouring, probably will never use them. Actually, I rarely reach for this anymore because I like to use different products for contouring. This is was probably one of my first high-end purchases. I love it. It is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. Beautiful. Um, reach for it all the time. I also have the little brush that came with it. Although I don't use the brush so much. This, these are all of my eyeshadows. This is a, a very neutral Bobbi Brown palette. I really don't care for it that much. It's been used once or twice. When I do a declutter, I may sell it or try and give it away. Uh, the It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty palette. Again, it's quite nice. Uh, nice subtle colors. And then I have the little tiny Naturally Pretty Essentials. This is the one that I travel with. Uh, you can get by with all those shades. Very handy little palette. I highly recommend this one. A drugstore palette that I rarely reach for is the CoverGirl True Nakeds. Uh, it's, it's nice if you're just going for like a very natural look. I, uh, my Too Faced Boudoir Eyes palette. And my last eyeshadow palette. I didn't think that I had this many because I do prefer singles is the Tartlet palette. Again, a nice palette. You can see that I tend to go with the lighter colors. Uh, this is a really nice palette to travel with. And then some of my singles. Um, this is a NYX, NYX, and Iced Mocha. You can use this under your lower lash line for a smoked out look, or you could use this all over your mobile lid. This is a new one. It's a Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Au Naturel. Absolutely love this. I wear it alone or I use this as the, um, the main mobile lid color and then I'll, I'll put another color in the crease. And of course, you have seen me use this countless times. It's a Giorgio Armani eye tint in the color flannel. It's a, just a nice... I don't know, on me it's like an oyster pink. It looks like it's drying up though a bit, so... Something I'd probably keep for the fall. Uh, the Stila Shimmer and Glow, and this is in Kitten. Every time I wear this, I get lots of compliments asking what I have on my eye. It has a very nice sheen to it. This is my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. You know, it's not something I really like. I know a lot of people reach for this and use as their eyelid primer. Me, not so much. Um, I don't know. I'm just not really crazy about the MAC products that I've tried. I guess I'm sort of the strange one here. Everybody else seems to love them. Me, not so much. And last but not least is my Burberry Single Eyeshadow in the color Rosewood. Beautiful packaging, beautiful color. Don't let the um, the dark color here deceive you whenever I apply it. It really um, goes on like a very nice, well, rose, light rose colored um, shadow. I love it. I wear it in my crease all the time. It's a really, really nice product. Oh, and I forgot about this little guy. This was one of those Sephora bonus things. Uh, it's the Laura Mercier Caviar in Vanilla Kiss. 
I've tried it. I like it. I prefer single eyeshadows over palettes. I don't know. I I don't wear a lot of eyeshadow. I just like one or two shadows. So for me, I don't get the use out of the palette. Um, going forward, I probably would just stick with singles. Because I don't really do crazy eyeshadows. Crazy eyeshadow looks, I should say. And then the last two items in here is my Beauty Blender Cleanser. This is in the Pro size. I love it. I have a brush cleaning video going up. Well, it will be up by the time you see this video. And I use this in it. I only ever use the tiny travel size, the white ones. This has charcoal in it. I'm not sure what the charcoal does. But this really works very nicely cleaning the brushes. And last but not least is my Sephora color switch. This is handy to keep on your uh, desk when you're doing your eye makeup. You just swish your brush around there and it uh, cleans your brush. So that's a peek at my makeup collection. I'm sure there will be some new additions to it and uh, we can update it later on, but I hope you've enjoyed taking a peek. If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. Most importantly, have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye!